You really think a bomber can cross half the planet without anyone noticing? At exactly 12.01 a.m., the B-2 Spirit vanishes into the night sky. No lights, no transponder, no radio. Just a 336,000-pound shadow carrying the world's heaviest bunker busters. But here's the thing. Her target lies over 7,000 miles away, tucked deep inside a region where GPS gets jammed and satellites get watched. Even with extended fuel tanks, she'll never make the round trip without help. That's where it gets wild. At 4 a.m. over the Atlantic, a KC-135 tanker floats in the dark, waiting. The B-2 slides in behind, 30 feet back, 15 feet below. That's surgical precision at 400 knots. No lights, no visibility, just two jets dancing in a storm cloud. The boom locks on, fuel flows, 1,000 pounds a minute. One mistake and the mission's over. The pilot doesn't blink because he knows this isn't just flying. This is war before the war, and he's not flying alone. Above him, four raptors scan the skies like airborne predators, unseen, unheard, lethal. Behind, eight stealth platforms run passive scans, tagging threats before they even emit a signal. Further out, growlers spin a web of electronic noise, confusing every radar between them and the target. Meanwhile, satellites from concerned observers in the east are tracking a decoy bomber group heading across the Pacific. They're chasing ghosts because the real package is sliding eastward, completely off the map. Three refuelings, one global scale bluff, a dozen aircraft perfectly timed, perfectly placed, all to keep one stealth bomber invisible. But this isn't even the fight yet. Next comes the real fun, when these raptors start clearing the skies for what's coming behind. Part three shows you what air supremacy really looks like. Stay locked.